Hi everybody, Mark McGuinness, how are you? Um, look, just wanted to uh, give you some absolutely free strategies today to help you drive more business meetings, hard sales results uh, through using LinkedIn. So I'm sick of people saying that uh, LinkedIn doesn't work and that you know there's no value in, in spending your time on LinkedIn. So let me give you uh, just one strategy. And this strategy has been um, made available today because LinkedIn have recently done a software update and that's opened up the search functionality that I'll show you. So um, it's really a good time to get in here and start trialing this stuff. So let's um, pretend uh, that we've got a meeting this, uh, this week and we've got a meeting with, um, with Kate Fair. So uh, let's say we've got a meeting with Kate on Thursday. And, and what I'm gonna show you now is how you can turn these you know, regular face-to-face -face or telephone meetings into uh, three or four meetings each. So if you've got three or four meetings a week, like I, like I do at least, then you know you can generate 12 more meetings or you know six or seven, eight, 12 meetings off the back of that. So let me show you how to do that. So what we do is, is we've got a meeting with Kate and, and as part of our agenda, because you should be sending agendas, agendas when you, um, you have a meeting, you say, look, Kate, at the end of the meeting, what I'd like to do is um, let you see if there's people in my network um, you know, that I can introduce you to so that you can reach your business goals, whether that be, you know, business or whether it's a new supplier or, or anything like that, someone that I can help you with. Go through my network, have a look at who's in there and see who, who can help you. And I'll do the same for you. And this is how you do that, okay? So basically you go to connections, so you need to have um, an open profile. And you know what, if they don't have an open profile and you're meeting with them on Thursday, then I think it's really easy for you to just say, hey, Kate, I just want to look through your uh, connections to see if who you can refer me to. Uh, do you mind just opening up your profile for you know half an hour or for, for an hour or for a day or, or whatever the case may be? And I think you'll find that most people will say absolutely that's fine because they're meeting with you anyway. So you click on that on that uh, little place there where, where it says see connections. Okay, and then that takes us to a, a standard window like this. And then you do a search in here and you can you can either do a Boolean search, which I really like, or do it a little bit of a, a long way. I'll, I'll do it the long way for you. So I'm putting in sales director here. So they're the types of people I like to talk to. And I'm just searching through Kate's connections. I'm not searching through anything else at this point. So let's make that secondary connection. So no use people I'm already connected to. Uh, and let's have a look. Let's go. I want to talk to people in Sydney, Australia, because that's where I'm located today. Um, and that gives me 81 sales directors that Kate's connected to. Let's see if we can make that a little bit sharper. You know, I like to do a bit of work in the IT sector, so let's see what that results now. Okay, so now I've got 18 uh, results of people based in Sydney who are sales directors inside the IT industry. So these people are absolutely rolled gold potential customers for me. So uh, I can then grab three or four of these names, and then during the meeting I can say to Kate, hey Kate, look, I noticed that um, you're connected to Simon. Uh, over there at Oracle, I think he'd be a, you know, a great um, person for me to have a chat with. Would you mind facilitating a conversation or an introduction? And the reason why we do this is, is we know that you know, having a referral makes those first conversations much more likely to result in some, in some real business. There's some stats, something like four times more likely to close, that sort of thing. Um, and we know how hard it is to get people on the telephone to have a conversation. Now, if I ring Simon, for example, and say, hey, Simon, Kate Fair said just that I should give you a call. Uh, do you have a moment? He's going to say, yeah, absolutely. Now, I get that not everyone knows everybody in their network very, very well. And that's why I'd suggest you take five or six names to that meeting with the goal of coming out of that meeting with, with two new uh, referrals. So if you can do that with every meeting, let's say you're, you're like me and you've got four or five meetings uh, every week, face-to-face -face meetings, and, and you take those six names along to every, every meeting, then you're going to end up with another 10 or so business development opportunities with very, very little effort. So these are the sorts of pragmatic how-to skills that I train people uh, to be able to achieve on uh, my social for sales training courses. And, and, you know, this is why I think LinkedIn is so powerful. You know, when you really understand what LinkedIn can do for you, how it can help you, and you've got, uh, you know, a pragmatic how-to approach, then you're really going to find it's a, it's a great tool. So uh, please feel free to pass this on to your friends, uh, you know, make a comment. Uh, or reach out for a connection. I'd be happy to have a chat to you uh, about LinkedIn strategies uh, going forward. All the best. I hope you have a super day. Thanks very much.